many healthy young people are suddenly obsessed with tracking their blood sugar levels. It's blood glucose monitor. I've been wearing my continuous glucose monitor. Putting on a glucose monitor. And that's all because people are scared of glucose spikes, where your blood sugar levels rise really quickly after eating a meal. And that's apparently killing you. The more glucose spikes we have, the faster glycation happens. The faster we're going to get wrinkles, the faster we're going to cook, the faster we're going to age, and the faster we're going to die. But statements like these completely misrepresent the science, and it creates a fear around totally normal healthy eating patterns. But when you first put a raw chicken in the oven, it's cold, pink, and squidgy. And then when you cook it, it turns brown, crispy, and delicious. FYI, that's my dinner. And that's called the Maillard reaction, a chemical reaction between the sugars and proteins under high heat. Now, there are some similarities between cooking a chicken and something that happens inside the human body called glycation, which is where glucose molecules can stick to proteins in your body and over time cause damage. But in a healthy person, when your blood sugar levels rise after a meal, some glucose does temporarily bind to proteins, but when the blood sugar drops back down, that binding reverses, and it's only in chronically high blood sugar, like in uncontrolled diabetes, where those bonds become permanent and cause real damage. A healthy blood sugar spike is like throwing a chicken into the oven and then pulling it out, letting it cool down and then putting it back in, and then repeating that over and over again and expecting the chicken to cook. And this genuinely annoys me because it takes a grain of scientific truth and then sprinkles in scary language and completely twists how our human bodies actually work. And that fear is being packaged, marketed and sold by influencers who claim they're just trying to help you. Dr. Nicola Guest wrote an incredible article debunking a lot of this and I'll link it down below. And if you want a deeper breakdown, I made a full video which you can watch down below and follow for more medical explainers like these.